Hello everyone, I'm Daniela and today I'm going to show you how to make what can be called a wheel bracelet. Uh, this one has a strap design which is my favorite kind. So let's get started. To make this bracelet you'll need to create a round loom of sorts. So grab a cereal box and draw two circles. Then cut them out. Glue both parts together to make them stronger. Now let's mark the holes. Grab a ruler and make a line running through the center. Another perpendicular to that. Then just keep dividing these sections until you have the needed amount of markings. You will always need to double the amount of holes for the amount of cords that you're using. So since I'm using 16 cords, I'll need to make 32 markings slash holes. As you can probably tell, at this point I wanted to make an 8 strand bracelet so uh, the wheel doesn't have enough holes, but uh, later on I'll add the rest so I can make a 16 strand one. Cut the center of the circle with an exacto knife. I did mine just big enough to put the strings through. Then cut the slits slash holes slash I don't even know what to call them anymore um, and if you want uh, cutting the edges at an angle will help placing the cords inside. Like I said I ended up changing the wheel so I could fit a 16 strand bracelet here so uh, here's what it looks like uh, at the end with the added slits. To make the exact same bracelet as me, uh, you'll need 4 colors. I'm using crochet thread. Use a measuring tape or ruler to measure and cut 2 strands of each color with 1.5 cm each. You'll need to have 8 strands in total, then we are folding them up. Like I said, fold the cords in half and make a knot, creating a loop big enough to put a wooden bead through. Place the cords in the wheel then separate each one until it looks like this. A space of 3 slits should be in between each color and the matching colors in the same direction. Now let's start braiding. Place the top right string in the right bottom hole like this and the left bottom string in the same color into the left top hole. Rotate the wheel so the next color, in this case the blue one, is upwards and repeat the same thing. Right cord down, left cord up and so on. Rotate, right cord down, left cord up. And in between each color you should run your hands through the strings so they don't get all tangled up. In case you forget which color you last moved, you just need to look for the one that is on top, in this case the pink one.
Once you do enough rows, you'll start to see the bracelet come out on the other side. You can tug on it once in a while while you're making it and to push it out uh, or even hold it with a clip to keep it from coming up. Then just keep repeating the braiding steps until you have a bracelet that is long enough for your wrist. Once you have it, remove the bracelet from the wheel and make a knot at the end of the braid. Trim some of the excess thread. To close it, I'm using a wooden bead. Mine didn't have a large enough hole, so I'm making it bigger by scraping it off with scissors. Put the end of the bracelet through the bead and make another knot to finish. And that is it! for modeling these bracelets out for me. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this design and if you did uh, and if you make one as well, uh, make sure to tag me on Instagram so I can check it out and add it to my highlights when I keep all the projects that you send me. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you next time. Bye!